we're gonna go uh, to Linda Iroff, who is the uh, is a is a great friend of the show. She runs a lot. She basically runs our social media outreach for the uh, for for Vox Popular Radio. She's helped me in many ways. Uh, she is the Kickstarter backer who one of the Kickstarter backers who purchased uh, the reward that allows her to set the topic. The whole show is basically uh, about the, uh, privacy because that's the topic Linda wanted to go into. Let me give a formal uh, reading of her bio, and then we're going to uh, invite Linda to uh, to read some stuff that she's written on this. Maybe ask a couple of questions if we have time. All right, Linda Iroff has a bachelor's degree in chemistry from the University of Virginia and a master's in chemistry from Princeton University. Smarty pants. She has worked in technology and higher education field for over thirty years and has done presentations at professional conferences and published papers on computer literacy and technology in both professional journals and uh, popular magazines. She's done freelance computer consulting and served on the technology advisory board for the Oberlin Public School System and the Electronic Oberlin Group for Oberlin City. Linda is currently director of desktop resources at Oberlin College and conservatory in Ohio. Linda, are you on the phone? Yes, I am, Sean. Uh, that was fun to read your biography out loud. You're kind of a you're kind of one of them. Uh, you're one of them big brain people, ain't you? Yeah, you make me sound very impressive. Thank you. Why privacy? Why now? Why'd you set this topic? Go ahead and uh, and, and lay it out for us. Okay, I I wrote this out because I didn't feel that I could express it extemporaneously um, very well. So I spent some time writing something. What I said is, I tend to be a private person. I'm not one for sharing personal information freely with casual acquaintances or total strangers. I was mostly anonymous on social sites for many, many years. I didn't add my name to my Twitter account for several years after first creating it. And even though I've had a Facebook account since 2006, um, I didn't actually start using it until about 2011. It's not that I have anything particular to hide, as Jack Lerner says. We all have something to hide, but not anything in particular. It's just that my personal information is mine. It's my own, my precious. <laughs> I, find it I find it disconcerting to know that everything I post, even if I post it privately, every site that I browse, everything I search for or buy, or anything that I do online, all of that data is being collected and analyzed and archived, archived and shared and sold. And I just don't trust companies like Google which long ago sold out on their model, motto of do no evil, and Facebook, which it seems never had a soul to sell, and Amazon, which, by the way, controls many of the servers um, that your other social sites use, things like Tumblr use, use uh, Amazon servers, uh, not to mention all the unknown companies that our data is being sold to. They change their unreadable terms of service without notice, um, they have confuse, confusing privacy settings that they change without notice. They use us unknowingly for social science experiments. Who knows what else they may do with all that data, some of which might be inaccurate, and all of which is subject to hacking. Then you add in the tons of metadata that the NSA is collecting on U.S. citizens, reams of information on all of us. Information is power, and power can and usually will be abused. Technology has made it too easy for others to have too much information on us and therefore too much power over us. Now, I'm not a paranoid person. I think most con conspiracy theories are nonsense. I'm a technologist. Technology, computer, particularly computer and Internet technology, is what I do for work, and it's a huge part of what I do for play, entertainment, and socializing. The misuse of computer and Internet technology is like an affront to me. Technology has for millennia raced ahead of our ability to control it. And unless we understand how technology is being used to collect and analyze our personal data, we're at risk of having our information used against us. It's like we're all living on a busy street and we're unable to close the curtains. It's an invasion of privacy, pure and simple. And with it comes the risk of loss of liberty. And so, Sean, I'm very grateful that you and Cam are addressing this issue today. Thank you. Well, I remember we got into this issue just before Christmas, and uh, and it, it lit up the Twitter uh, boards, and and I'm so glad that you called our attention back to it. You know, I'm not sure if people realize that that it's it's real. The government has purchased a huge piece of land in the West, is it Nevada or wherever it is, and they're building all these servers and compound and everything to store this information. It's actually being stored, and the way right. they look at it, most people feel like, 
boy, they poke their head into my business for a second. If I'm not doing anything, they leave. But you never know how they're going to arrange the information or misunderstand the information or, or create connections that, that are, you know, kind of spurious or don't make sense and have it hurt yeah. you. It's like it's like uh, identity theft. It, it hurts you. And by the time you realize it, it's too late. All right, Linda, we're going to go to commercial. Thank you so much. It was a great uh, piece that you wrote there. Hopefully uh, you'll get it to Cameron. We'll put, up, uh, put it up on Fox popularradio.com uh, we're gonna I want to remind people give a call in 855-878-4652 I keep saying the number I'm waiting for calls also tweet using the hashtag raise your Vox we're gonna read them on the air from the DJ Cameron Anuma privacy collection we now have computer blue by uh, purple rain on purple rain up. 